In the 2021.0 release of AlphaCam, we see many new features added to the software. We have created this video to highlight a few of these beneficial features, but if you wish to find additional information on all the features that have been added to AlphaCam 2021.0, please read the What's New document. A link to this is provided so you can download and browse at your leisure. Let's start with some of the features that have been added within Automation Manager. Adding custom columns for job files. Additional information can now be shown in custom columns within Automation Manager. I have added some parts to this sample job and I can see that within the parts list only the part name can be seen. To see more information about a specific part, I have to select it and check its settings on the right. This makes checking and editing settings on parts more time consuming as I have to click each part to check its settings. If I exit Automation Manager and come over to Automation Manager Settings and look at the View Settings tab, there is now the option to configure the columns visible in my Processing tab when working with Automation Manager jobs. If you have purchased CDM or cabinet door manufacturing, you will see that the visible columns related to that product can be configured. I will configure my columns for my standard Automation Manager jobs and can see that part name is the only field I currently have visible. I can now construct a table of information as I see fit from the fields below. I will add quantity, length, width, default material thickness, job file material, and nested part rotation method to the selected columns. With that set up, I will return to Automation Manager and check the part list. The part list now shows the new columns I added. With this information, I can now easily see part details to check any aspect of my parts prior to processing. These columns can also be sorted alphabetically, so if I decide that I want to cut my parts from a different material, I can click on Material Type Name, multi-select the required parts, and assign a new material from the Settings menu. Another new feature within Automation Manager is the option to save non-nested parts to a new job. If I cannot fit my parts into a sheet, or I run out of stock in the sheet database, I can choose to have the non-nested parts be added to a new job automatically, ready to be processed further. To turn on this feature, I navigate to the Configuration tab, select the configuration I want to modify, and here I have the option to automatically save failed nesting part to new job. I have a sample job here and some of the parts are too large to be nested onto the selected sheet size I have for this job. Let's hit process and wait for this to finish. I now get a warning to say that some parts have not been nested. With the job completed, if I close Automation Manager and reopen, I find that I now have a new job for the non-nested parts. These can now have materials reassigned and processed as required. Folder Watcher is a new feature that is designed to batch process jobs automatically. From our Automation Manager tab, we can select Automation Manager Folder Watcher. Here we can specify a target folder. This is the folder the watcher will monitor. When a new CSV or text file containing your part information is added to this folder, 
AlphaCam will begin processing automatically. We then need to select our parts list file extension and our pre-configured import settings, configuration and layer mapping setup. With these selected, we can hit start and the folder watcher will begin checking the target folder for new job files. I will now navigate to the job I wish to process and copy the CSV file containing my part information. This jobs to be processed folder is the one my folder watcher is monitoring. So I will paste the parts list into this folder and the folder watcher will start processing the job. The status window will keep track of each file that is processed and inform you if the import or processing of that job has failed. Once processing has completed, I can navigate to my chosen output directory and see that all my standard output including nested drawings, NC files, part drawings and reports have been automatically created along with the log file. If any parts fail to be processed, the log file will show this and a new job will be created in the automation manager showing the non-nested parts turn part over for machining. Within Automation Manager, a new feature has been added to allow parts to be turned over to machine features that are on the bottom face of the part. Within this sample job, I have a part drawing. If we preview this drawing, we can see that the drilling operations have been applied to the bottom face. For each part within the job, we have the option to turn part over for machining. When activated, we can choose the axis we wish to rotate the part around. I will choose to rotate the part around the x-axis for machining. When I return to my part and preview again, I can see that the part now gets redrawn with those operations on the top face. If for example you are importing files from an external CAD package and all parts are coming in face down, you can configure a column in the parts list to have them rotated automatically. 